Hey, thanks for joining me for another video, and this is gonna be part two of of they lie. Uh, I don't know if you if you've seen the part one where I talked about hard drives. This will be about phones and data recovery on phones and what companies do to kind of trick you or mislead you uh, and to uh, try and the software that um, it's not gonna do what they say it does. It's not gonna do it. So before I start, um, subscribe. I like this video you're gonna help the algorithm so if you like this video and subscribe to my channel it definitely helps me it takes you two seconds and it helps my channel a lot so click below uh, right there right there just click it. click it do it don't wait so yeah so let's uh, let's have a look so we get a lot of phone calls here I mean a lot of phone calls all the time almost every day people wanting to recover the deleted messages from their smartphones uh, when it comes to Android phones that is not a problem with Android phones we can get them without a doubt as long as we have um, full physical full file system support and UFED we can do it I made video on this on the Galaxy S10 I'll link it above and you can check it out if you haven't seen it so that's uh, Android 11 I think on Galaxy S10 we can do up to S20 um, with Galaxy S uh, with any galaxies with uh, Exynos chipset we can now brute force the lock so that'll be a whole different video but um, so yeah when it comes to Android no problem but when it comes to iPhone things have changed since iOS 12 so any device running iOS 12 or newer there is just no recovery and there's no tool out there that can recover it uh, even even law even uh, authorities can do this law enforcement can get deleted messages they can get it from the cloud maybe if it's still there or they can get it from the provider but if it comes to iMessage they can't get it there's just no way Apple has been erasing the uh, the database so once you delete a message uh, it's pretty much deleted so I went on YouTube and I had a look at some uh, videos so if you type in uh, iPhone deleted SMS you get lots of videos and you know your usual fan that's one to share and um, clever files tenor share and uh, dr. phone all these guys will will promise you deleted messages and you know it's not gonna happen and then so I'll start with the videos, we'll just look at some of the videos and then we're gonna look at uh, Celebrite. I loaded uh, three different extractions from three different real cases. Uh, I'm gonna block a, a lot of uh, personal information off so I don't show it, but I'm just gonna show you the database itself and um, kind of messages we have. So let's start with the first video here from Clever Files. So the first thing you mentioned is um, iCloud Backup. Uh, for you to recover data from the iCloud backup and especially messages, it's 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 gonna be very very unlikely. Um, and here's a few reasons. Number one, the iCloud backups are kept from today, from yesterday, and from a week ago. So and, and even the the one week old backup, even that one's hard to get. So uh, usually all you see is the la the last two backups, which is today and yesterday. Sometimes it's to today and then earlier today. Uh, so you don't, actually, you, don't, you don't get the old backup, you just get something very, very recent. So, um, so that thing has to happen. You have to have a backup that's recent uh, from that phone. And then he talks about, well, erase your phone, which is just already a huge mistake. So erase your phone, restore your backup, and there's your information. Uh, we, have, we have software we can celebrate to pull backups down. And we never get very lucky pulling the messages from this because usually if someone deletes something it, it wasn't deleted yesterday it's usually deleted a month ago two months ago three months ago a year ago it's very unlikely that uh, someone deleted messages today and they'll come see us today that almost never happened it's usually old old backup that um, sorry old old messages that they need uh, but not something from today I mean there, there are exceptions um, obviously someone who just by accident deleted the messages they'll come and see us um, then maybe we can pull it from the cloud but it's highly unlikely um, sometimes we get lucky they might have iTunes backup on the computer that's what these guys talk about um, so there's a a little bit of misleading there in these videos so let's go forward here so of course tells you to erase your phone yeah, a lot of people actually watch these videos and, and I've seen this happen many times they call and say well I made a I made a I followed this video on YouTube, I raised my phone and there was nothing in my cloud. Uh, because I didn't really check if, if their messages are being backed up. So um, that happens too. So iTunes backup is another option, but you must have an iTunes backup that has those messages still before you deleted them. Again, same thing, erase your phone, restore. Uh, let's see, keep going here. So the last one, he scans the phone and I, I love how he shows 51 deleted messages. 
there's no way you get any messages. Um, prior to iOS 14, we used to get metadata from the messages, so you would see, especially for iMessage, not for SMS, from iMessage, you will see a metadata that would say message, message was here, flag deletion, time and date, and phone number is attached to, but there's no body. Um, and yeah, so it shows recover messages. That's all BS. That's all BS. Uh, then we have this guy here. Um, talks about Dr. Phone. Uh, this software, these guys actually tried to contact me many times to show their software. I have it installed here. Let's let's launch it. Let's launch it. So all this does is this 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 will use uh, iTunes API to connect to your phone, pull its own backup. It won't recover anything. So this guy in this video, he was very very specific at uh, not actually showing you anything recovered. So he. He recovers some cache data, which is, you know, you can do it yourself without any software. He scans the phone and then he talks about the recovering deleted messages. But when he's done at the end of the video, he doesn't show you any because he didn't recover any. And also he talks about recovering uh, SMS attachments. Once you delete a message with an attachment from MMS, that's also gone. There's no recovery there. So going back to Dr. Phone, um, they also uh, have option to unlock your screen. You know, people don't read. They will launch this and will actually wipe your phone. It's not, I mean, it's gonna unlock your phone for sure, but then I wipe your data. Most people who lock their phone out, they don't, they don't care about unlocking. They want the data out of the phone, not the actual phone being unlocked. Um, so that doctor, doctor phone. Obviously, some misleading um, information here. You're not gonna recover anything deleted uh, from an iPhone. You know, if you watch my uh, video on encryption, uh, which is the same S10 video that I linked at the beginning of the video, I do talk about uh, file-based encryption. Um, full disk encryption, so iPhones use file-based encryption, which is a little bit more secure. Android just joined using file-based encryption. Uh, once a file is deleted, it's gone. I mean, in some rare cases, you can find cached information in the cache data on an iPhone from attachments, but it's it's rare now. It used to be more often now. Apple's been really good at removing those things. Uh, then there's Recovered Guy. I love these guys. I absolutely love these guys. Same dumb information. Go through iCloud and erase your phone and blah 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 and then restore your backup you can do all this with through your tools you don't even need any of this software and through your tools is free just get through your tools and go through your backups and pull your uh, messages out and you know if these tools were so great recover it and, and doctor phone and all these tools they were so great why isn't uh, law enforcement using them why because they're all garbage that's why um, so yeah through your tools, you can do all that stuff. If you have through your tools, with through your tools, you can actually find your backups, and you can um, uh, you can you can pull messages out from um, using the it's free software. But it's only messages you have, not the messages you lost. Um, so don't get that confused with uh, with anything. Then you have this guy here, same thing, Doctor Phone once again. It's always the same thing, always the same thing. He also doesn't show any messages at the end. I wonder why. I wonder why doesn't show any messages. Oh, this guy again. Then there's this guy. Yeah, it might be the situation that you lost all your messages. No, they're gone. They're gone. So we're gonna switch over to celebrate in a minute. We're gonna go to celebrate in a minute. I'm gonna look at uh, the actual database. So just to give you a bit of background, how um, what happens to a message when you delete? So when you receive a message, actually, let me backtrack a little bit. So what happens on, on smartphones? Um, Every app on your phone uses a database called SQL database. That's a type of the database. So every app on your phone is using that as a backend for data. So whether it's your phone app, your messaging app, WhatsApp, they all have their own individual databases. So if you delete a message, uh, what used to happen on the iPhone that still happens on the Android is the message is not actually deleted. The record itself, uh, I'll show you later the records. It's actually record in the, data, in the SQL database it flagged for being deleted. And as you receive and send out the messages, those records are now open for new messages. So they get at random, they might get overwritten. You know, sometimes we had an ins instance where someone deleted one message a year ago and we got it. Uh, just at random, never get overwritten. And sometimes we get, uh, we get a case where, uh, I'm talking about Android here, uh, that someone deleted a message uh, an hour ago. They come and see us, and just by sheer luck, they sent and received a message, and it goes overwritten. So it's just how these things go. So that's how SQL works. So Apple, what they've been doing since iOS 12, they've been actually vacuuming and cleared out their record. So as you delete something, the record is cleared out and deleted, and it's just there's nothing to recover. I've tested this. I have many, many phones here, uh, many iPhones. Uh, I can test it on 
I, I sent a specific message, a specific text. I sent it out. And then when I went back to the, to the raw database, not even using Celebrite um, categorization option, I actually went into the database by hand. I looked for that specific uh, string of text. It just wasn't there. It was just completely gone. And that's, this happened back in iOS 12. I remember when we first in encountered this. Uh, I, I, I was blown, I, I, I was like, where are the messages? Last four or five phones I did, there was no messages. And so I then realized something has changed. And I did some testing on the SQL and I've noticed, yeah, Apple's been cleared them out. And, it's, and we're getting less and less information from iPhones. Uh, I, I have one loading right now, uh, should be done soon. It's in the last stage now, so I have, uh, let's see what I got here. I got iPhone 6 Plus, this one was done through Advanced Logical. I have iPhone 10. They don't have that much data on it, and I have iPhone 8 Plus. This was done through Checkmate or Checkrain uh, exploit. So we can look at that one, and you'll see that uh, there will be nothing deleted there. We can still get WhatsApp. We can still get I think Telegram. Can we get Telegram? I think we do, but I don't remember. We can still get some apps, some third-party apps. We can still do, but when it comes to native iOS apps, there's just no recovery. That's how she rolls. So let's open iPhone 6s. Um, yeah, 6s. This was done through Advanced Logical. You see, someone has 17,000 uh, messages, right? So 17,000 messages. Uh, and this is a real case. Someone came in to see us, and they wanted some deleted messages. And I told them we're not going to recover anything. Um, so let's um, let's have a look here. Let me just minimize this so we can't see anything private. So as you see in this column here, where the X is, we should be seeing um, deleted, but there's nothing. If I if I just sort, there's nothing deleted, nothing. Uh, and uh, we can uh, we can actually go into the uh, so here is a SMS table SMS.db. So let's go into uh, let's go into databases. Type in SMS. So here we go. Here we have a database. So we can see here the, here are the tables uh, in a, in that specific SMS. So we can look at. Um, so here we are. So we're looking at the message table. Uh, the number is seventeen thousand three hundred twenty-nine, and then in the uh, Parsed message because 17,236. Uh, just because there's a hundred more doesn't mean there's messages. Here's, here's an example of just blank messages. These have been most likely deleted and have been overwritten uh, by iOS. Here's another uh, chunk of um, blank messages. So we can see there was deletion happening. Here, more deletion here. More deletion. So we can see it's been happening. It's just uh, there's nothing to recover. Uh, let me look at another one here. So iPhone 10. This one didn't have that much information. So maybe you know what? We're not gonna look at this one. But let's. Uh, I think this was only a file system extraction, so we didn't get SMS here. Yeah, this SMS is empty. This SMS temp temp. Uh, we could look at. Yeah, we have we have four hits. So uh, I guess we I can show these messages. There's nothing really that shows here. So we got four messages here. But they're not deleted. These messages are in the database. Um, I think Yufa didn't pick these up. Maybe that's, this wasn't a complete extraction. But in any case, uh, we got four messages. You know, I've tried using Axiom. Before I looked at database, I tried using Axiom. I tried using so many other tools. And then just not going to happen. So if you see these guys peddling their BS on YouTube, you know, usually they have this stupid face on their thumbnail. Uh, doing a dumb, stupid look, uh, trying to kind of trying to make you click on their stupid videos. Um, they're just trying to show you, sell you software. It's, it's it's whatever that Wondershare does, you can do it with three tools. There's no point wasting time and money on Doctor Phone. I, I don't know if I mentioned this. I was in court once for a case. Um, my client used uh, Wondershare to recover deleted messages from their. Uh, Android phone. This goes back to 2018. So he recovered a bunch of messages 
and the messages he found they didn't really exonerate him it, it, this was a case where someone accused him accused him of uh, of something and the messages he recovered it actually made it look even worse because the message there wasn't a complete message so he came to see us and and you know he wanted he didn't want to really pay for it because it was expensive it's still expensive now i mean there's a reason why it's expensive because we're using expensive tools but anyway um so he did it anyways we ran his phone through and i got the message and i got the second portion of the message using celebrate and the second portion that was missing in his wondershare extraction uh that made a huge difference in this case actually he was exonerated because it, it proved that the, the other party lied and i testified in court on this uh and I've talked about it in two other videos. I, I had to explain how database works, and I think I lost a judge at one point because, you know, she was like 300 years old. I didn't think she understood anything. So, um, you know, it's the point when I write my reports now. I'm, you know, going back to the forensic stuff. When I write, write reports now, I make them super simple. It's, uh, I have, uh, at the beginning of the report, I have a list of all the words I'm using and what they mean. and. You know, you, when you write these reports, you have to write like you're writing for a five-year-old. They have to be able to understand. People are not technical. They, they don't, they don't want to be uh, reading technical reports. So, that's what happens when you do forensic work. Um, so, you might wonder, why are we still using Celebrite if we can't get deleted messages? Well, I'll tell you why. Because there's a lot of other information we can still get from the iPhone. Uh, you know, it's still a forensic tool. It's still an investigative tool. We can still find a lot of stuff. If someone's doing something... They can't always cover the tracks. There's always people who make mistakes, people who don't um, pay attention with, with what they're deleting. I mean, there's some people who are really good at hiding what they're doing, so uh, we're never gonna find anything. But there's always something. There's always a computer we can ask to get get, get it bring, uh, brought in, or during, during uh, when the search warrant is executed, they they, get, they take all your stuff. So you might have a phone you forgot about. They'll give it to us. We'll go through all of it. We'll find something. Um, so just because one device doesn't have the information, something else will have it. Uh, sometimes uh, we'll get a MacBook in. Someone were, was good at deleting messages from their phone, but they forgot that the MacBook was syncing iMessage to it. And we got we got, went through the MacBook and we put it through Axiom and then we got it. There's always a way. If there's a will, there's a way. Anyway, this video is getting long. I'm rambling on. Make sure you subscribe for more content like this. I'm definitely gonna show more forensic stuff because I know I've noticed there's a lot of people asking for it all the time. But I think next week's gonna be some data recovery stuff on the Surface Pro. It's gonna be interesting. So maybe a bit of soldering next week. There's also a flash coming up. Uh, but it all depends how I'm busy I am next week. But yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Click that link. It really has my channel. You know, I, I do these videos because I enjoy, but I also like to get more subscribers. So yeah, I'll see you in the next video.